there's always a risk to the facial nerve in the management of patients with vestibular schwannomas. Left untreated or uncontrolled, vestibular schwannomas can actually develop into an enormous size and be a life-threatening condition. And uh, the management options for patients with vestibular schwannomas is one, uh, leave them alone and watch them. And if they start growing or reach a significant size, then you have a choice of either irradiating them or removing them. The large vestibular schwannomas are, have to be treated by, by surgery. Uh, and the facial nerve in those instances, because it runs out of the skull in the same channel as the hearing and balance nerve, the facial nerve becomes enormously stretched around the tumor. And in removing the, uh, the, the schwannoma from the patient, the facial nerve can become irrevocably damaged or bruised. And so there's a range of paralysis or, or dysfunction that you can get as a result of, of what is life-saving life surgery. The risk of facial nerve injury or facial palsy following vestibular schwannoma surgery is directly proportional to the size of the tumour. The smaller the tumour, the less stretched the facial nerve is, the larger the tumour, the more stretched it is. So in small tumours, the risk is about 10 to 15 percent. In large tumours, it's as much as 75 percent. We minimise the risk of uh, facial palsy associated with vestibular schwannoma surgery first by our training and second we have interoperative monitoring uh, which uh, detects minor degrees of irritation to the nerve in our dissection technique. So we use these monitors to find exactly where the facial nerve is and we're able to adjust our dissection technique so that we're treating it as gently as possible.